is still chapter three of Just Enough Physics. We're still doing two-dimensional and three-dimensional motion. We're still doing projectile motion. I have one more problem to do, and that's a numerical calculation for projectile motion. Now go back to chapter one, and, and if you want to look back at numerical calculations. So here's the main idea that we have. We have some ball launched with some initial velocity v1 at some angle theta, and then it goes boom, boom, just like that. So, you know, in the last case I broke this into x and y motion but we don't have to do that we don't have to because I can treat this as just one kinematic equation and if I use this as a vector equation so if I say the position r is a function of t depends on the initial position plus the initial velocity times time assuming time starts at zero plus one half g t squared and here g is the vector g that's the downward acceleration it's in the negative y direction but it's still we call it so how do we do this as a numerical calculation? Because it gives us a lot of power, even though it's totally not needed. Um, so we're going to set up our initial conditions, the initial velocity, the acceleration, the position, and all that. And then we're going to make a loop. We can do any kind of loop through time or until it hits this bottom part, whatever you want, until it gets to the highest point. Uh, and then we just do the following. We update the velocity, and this is based on the definition of average, velocity, average acceleration. I'm sorry. And then we use that velocity to update the position. Uh, this is due to the the definition of average velocity, and we're cheating here because we're using the final velocity, not the average. But and these are time steps, right? Breaking into a time step. That's not time. Okay, so we are going to set this up in Python. Here we go. Okay, so I have my little window here. Let's see. Let's move this up. You don't need to see. That kind of stuff. Okay, so let's just start putting in their initial conditions. Um, I'm going to say g equals vector uh, 0, negative 9.8. This is all, I'm doing this in real time because I didn't prepare anything. Uh, let's call this v1. That's the magnitude of the velocity. I'm going to break it in, so, and I will write the vector. Uh, let's say it's 3 meters per second. And remember, no units here. I can go back and add comments, and I will before I share this to you so you know what to change. Uh, the, the launch angle is going to be equal to let's say 33 times pi divided by 180. That's in radians. We need it in radians. Okay, now we need the uh, the height above the ground. Let's say it's uh, 1.2 meters, and then that's good. So now I'm going to need I'm going to write down some vector stuff. So the initial vector position is going to be r equals the vector uh, 0 h 0, and and that means it starts at x equals 0 and y equals h. The initial velocity, I'm just going to call that v. v equals v1 times the vector cosine theta. I should have put this in that picture. Sine theta, 0. So this is the uh, velocity times the cosine theta gives me the x component, and that gives me the y component. So, But you see here I have the acceleration, the position, and the velocity all as vectors. And the velocity and the position are going to change. I don't need r1, r2, and all that stuff. Uh, now I need t equals 0, dt equals 0 0.01. Okay, let's do this. While r dot y is greater than 0. So r dot y is the y component of the vector r. So it starts off at 1.2, and it is greater than 0. So as long as that's true, then it'll do this loop. Um, let me go up here and add a graph too. T graph equals graph x title. I misspelled that last time. Equals uh, let's plot. Um, let's do a trajectory. Okay, so that means this is going to be x position in meters versus y position in meters. Okay, that's good. And then we need a graph to plot. F1 equals G curve. I can't I always pick blue. I don't know why. Okay. So now we're down here. So the first thing we're going to do, I already looked at my thing, I need to update the velocity. So I'm going to say V equals V plus G times DT. That's it. That is really it. Because look, g is a vector, v is a vector. These are all vectors. It, it works. Okay. It looks silly, but that's true. Now I'll update position. And that does both x and y. r equals r plus v times dt. t equals t plus dt. That's it. I did, I did everything. 
just in those three lines. And now I need to plot it, f1.plot. I'm going to plot the x position, r.x, and the y position, r.y. I think that should work. Let's numerical projectile motion. I like to save it in case I make a terrible error. I can at least uh, partially get it back. And I do make terrible errors, don't we all? Let's see, run it. There you go. That worked. Check that out. So that starts here. Um, you can't see the end of it. It gets down here and we, get, we can get the distance and all that stuff from there. Um, you know, if you want, you can, uh, oops, ah, see this is why you save it. Okay, cancel, cancel, cancel. I guess I need to go to my trinkets. Okay, okay. And then, okay, good thing I saved it, right? Okay, uh, and if you want to, you can change the initial position, you can change the initial angle, you can change the initial velocity, you can do all that stuff. You can plot position versus time or vertical, anything you want. Okay, anything you want you can get from this program. Um, and it's pretty legit, okay? You should try playing around with what happens if you make the time interval bigger, what happens if you make it smaller, uh, all that stuff. But I think, I think I'm gonna add some comments here. I'll post this program in the, com in the description down below. Um, so I got one more thing to do in chapter three, and that's uh, how do we deal with forces in two dimensions and three dimensions. Actually, I'll do a three-dimensional problem. Uh, and, then, and then we'll move on to chapter four. It's gonna be great. Uh, so, this is where this is the Just Enough Physics series, I'm trying to go through the introductory course. So if you like it, like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.